Hey guys, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and I just wanted to make this video quickly because I like to make sure that kind of annoying, aggravating things that happen to me don't happen to other people. So as I do this review video of dermstore.com, please know that this is not with the intention of getting even with anybody, getting revenge. <laughs> this is just to inform fellow consumers so that you can make a choice that is best for you. Now, I put in an order with dermstore.com back around Black Friday. I got my confirmation order. The charge went right onto my credit card. And a lot of time went by. I did see that there was a notice saying that they were running behind and that you know it was gonna take a while, but that was the last communication I ever received from them. So after about, I think it was about seven, it was, well, I think it was over a week, a little over a week, let's call it 10 days, seven to 10 days, something like that. I went to go look up the status of my order and it said canceled. Huh? Cancel? Why'd you cancel it? I didn't get a cancellation uh, notification. I'm going through my emails, I'm going through the spam. There's nothing. Okay, so, and it's still on my credit card, <laughs> right? So I contact uh, customer service. By the way, I guess dermstore.com is owned by Target Corporation. Interesting. I contact customer service and they say that they'll go back to you in 24 hours. After I hadn't heard from them in three days, I contacted them again and now I'm getting really kind of aggravated and it's starting to feel shady and sketchy because you canceled my order but the charge is still on my credit card, okay? Please do not preach at me about how credit cards work. I know that they will put the charge on there and to hold it, to authorize it, and then it can come off later. I know that that happens that way, but you have to understand, I had put in my order at this point, now it's like 13 days after the fact, and it's still on my credit card. You understand? So, didn't hear from customer service after a few days. I reached out again, another two days went by, and this was the response I got. So this was sent to me like two days after the second time I reached out to customer service. Hi, Michelle. First of all, thank you so much for putting my name in and spelling it the way that I spell it. So this is good. This shows me that the person was actually paying attention to my, my email, right? This is, this is how, this is the <laughs> response. Hi, Michelle. On 12-2-2019, we informed you by email to contact us within 48 hours for verification to avoid order from being canceled. There was an automatic cancellation due to no response. So basically this is your fault, right? It's my fault that this happened. If you would like to, excuse me, if you would like for your order to be reinstated, please contact us at 1-800-213-3376. Sorry for the inconvenience this may have caused. Okay. Have it, what are they, the FBI? Have any of you ever heard <laughs> Doesn't this, this smack of the IRS a little bit? I don't know. Like, have you ever had a, a retailer tell you, okay, here's your confirmation. We're not going to give you a notification that things have been canceled. We're going to go ahead and charge your credit card. But we did send out correspondence on this date. No, you didn't. I received no such notification and I scoured my email because I thought, you know, how did I miss this? You know, went through everything, went through my spam, everything. It's not there. It was never sent to me. Don't try me, all right? So that was never sent to me. But also, the bigger question here is, huh? Like, why would you send me a <laughs> thing that I have to verify my order? Weird thing number one. I have 48 hours to do it. Again, what are you, the government? Like, <laughs> who are you? And why, has that ever happened with any other company? I've never experienced that. I've never experienced that with any other company. And because I didn't, you know, verify my thing from something that you never sent, you canceled my order and then didn't tell me you canceled my order. And still, as of the communication here, that that amount was still on my credit card. So there's no mention of, you know, I, I'm not going to lie, I got ticked off at this because this is just the stupidest response I've ever heard in my life. This will go down in history in my brain as like, that, like that's brand new. I, that's brand new. I, I didn't do something correctly. Do you love how they're twisting things? And is this a robot? What kind of corporate person do you have sitting at your customer service desk? And do not call yourselves a beauty specialist. That's ridiculous. Ugh, that's just an aside. All right, so I wrote back and I'm like, basically like, are you freaking kidding me? You know, don't think for a second that I'm not going to alert people to this. And again, that's not a threat of like, I'm gonna get you back. It's like, no, you are, what you have done here is dumb. 
unacceptable. And I'm going to let other people know so that they can make a decision for themselves. Some of you out there are going to be like, hey, I love Durham Store. I used to love Durham Store too. I was just in a video talking them up and saying how great they were and how great their customer service was. Excuse me. Uh, DurhamStore.com, Macy's, Sephora, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, all those customer service things, you can keep it. I... If I can't go to a store around me and get it, I'm not getting it. And I don't care. That's where I'm at with these people. Because, I, oh, we'll, we'll send it to you when we can. We're just so busy. Or, you know, like, you, you don't have Black Friday every year. It's been going on for a long time. You don't know to get extra staff. Oh, but we're working so hard. You just have to understand. I don't have to understand anything. Okay? I'm not going to beg you to take my money. <laughs> right? I could have gone to an Estee Lauder counter and gotten my face serum. Okay? So I wrote back and I was like, what? Like, wow, this is your response? Like, you know what? I'm going to alert people to this. This is no good. Yes, yeah, so this person responded to me right away and said, and, and this time there's no name. There's no hi, Michelle. There's nothing. Uh, because I was asking about my refund. You know, it was all my credit card. Where are you guys going to, you know, give that back to me? Um, an authorization is captured when the order is placed. However, in the event the order is canceled, there will be no charge billed to the credit card. And this is in bold, as if I'm stupid. The authorization generally releases five to seven days by the card issuer. And then it was just boilerplate after that. So this here's what we don't need from DurhamStore.com, your customer service. We don't need their attitude. And if you're watching this going, that person didn't have any attitude, you better open your eyeballs, okay? Open your eyes. That was complete attitude. Uh, bolding, they will return it in five to seven days. Still acting as if I've done something wrong, as if I'm a bother and I'm a problem. No, you're the problem. You put an amount on my credit card that's been sitting there for like two weeks or something. Like I've been checking it and it's just been sitting there. And you act as if I'm being ridiculous for asking why I was, oh, wow. A beauty specialist over at dermstore.com. You need to work on your communication skills. And what's more, your management team needs to get in there. I don't care if you're having a busy season. I don't care if you are having to handle a lot of stuff. This is what you're getting paid to do. You understand? You're getting paid to help people. And yeah, was I aggravated? Sure, you guys canceled my order without telling me and I'm just sitting here waiting on my package that wasn't going to come and there was still an amount on my credit card. Now I have scoured, it's only after I reached out to customer service twice, I went back and I scoured through my uh, credit card statement. I do not see the dermstore.com charge anymore so I think it went off. But now I had to spend my time chasing these people down to get treated as if I'm a bother, like, I did, like I'm bothering her. Here's the information. Quit coming at us with this. Quit running your business in a stupid way. Now you're in the category of Sephora. Sephora customer service is terrible. Like I said, so that's how you get treated by dermstore.com. And the customer service is now in that category of one of the worst I've ever seen. You're in line. You're right in that same category now as Sephora, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and Time Warner Cable. <laughs> okay? I don't think Time Warner exists anymore, but they had, they were like notorious for having the worst customer service. So that was my experience with DermStore.com. For me, I felt like the response was unacceptable. Uh, talking down to me, talking as if, you know, it was just very robotic, like weird. <laughs> I'm getting very boilerplate kind of responses and no accountability for the fact that I put in an order, they send me a confirmation and then they claim they sent me communication, which they didn't, saying that I, first of all, why, why would I have to verify my order? I've said this before, I'll say it again. Why do I have to verify my order? And you're only giving me 48 hours to do it before you go ahead and cancel. And then you don't tell me that you canceled. And yet it's still on my credit card. And I have to chase you down. I have to reach out to you twice. I have to keep scouring my, my credit cards. And now just like, I feel like my social duty to like prevent other people from going through what I just went through, I have to sit down and make a video and I have to edit this and post it so that it doesn't happen to you. Now, if you're watching this and you don't care, I mean, okay, cool, you know, good. I'm glad that, you know, you're having a good experience. But for those of you, especially if you're a busy mommy, I run my own business, you know, so that could have easily fallen through the cracks and I would have, you know, had to come back later and it just caused unneeded stress 
and I do not like this beauty specialist attitude. And if you're sitting there going, no, she said it just right, you need to decondition your brain because, you know, that that is unacceptable. That is unacceptable. She was a complete robot about it, twisted it around like I did something wrong. And And I don't think in that second... Yeah, in the second correspondence, there was no like, we're really sorry that this happened to you. Yes, this is how we do things. And if it doesn't come back, you know, it ends up getting canceled. Uh, You should see something on your credit card within five to seven days. Please contact us if there's any further issues. That's how you handle it. This is, you're a bother. And we don't want to deal with you. Here are the facts. Go away. Okay. No problem. (laughs) <laughs> absolutely no problem dermstore.com but also because you're owned by target target uh, you know I, I go over there and i shop there quite a bit but uh you need to get this under control the kids are running amok i mean you you need to get this under control and that because it's owned by target kind of made me go do i want to shop at target anymore because we ain't doing this You are not going to belittle me and talk down to me. Oh, she didn't talk down to you. You're crazy. Yeah, you're probably one of those people who would behave that way towards customers and think that it is completely okay. Leave your comments down below and we'll leave it there because I got a life and I got to get on with it, okay? (laughs) Sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.